Welcome to Common Prayer Daily, your guided meditation through scripture and prayer. This is a liturgy for the 12th Friday after Pentecost. Let's pray. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and blessed be His kingdom now and forever. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship Christ among us, our King and our God. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Holy God, holy and mighty, holy immortal one, have mercy upon us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Psalm 39 I said I will keep watch upon my ways, so that I do not offend with my tongue. I will put a muzzle on my mouth while the wicked are in my presence. So I held my tongue and said nothing. I refrained from rash words, but my pain became unbearable. My heart was hot within me, while I pondered the fire burst into flame. I spoke out with my tongue, Lord, let me know my end and the number of my days, so that I may know how short my life is. You have given me a mere handful of days, and my lifetime is as nothing in your sight. Truly, even those who stand erect are but a puff of wind. We walk about like a shadow, and in vain we are in turmoil. We heap up riches and cannot tell who will gather them. And now what is my hope? O Lord, my hope is in you. Deliver me from all my transgressions and do not make me the taunt of the fool. I fell silent and did not open my mouth, for surely it was you that did it. Take your affliction from me. I am worn down by the blows of your hand. With rebukes for sin you punish us. Like a moth you eat away all that is dear to us. Truly, everyone is but a puff of wind. Hear my prayer, O Lord, and give ear to my cry. Hold not your peace at my tears, for I am but a sojourner with you, a wayfarer, as all my forebears were. Turn your gaze from me that I may be glad again, before I go my way and am no more. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of 2 Corinthians, beginning with the 7th chapter, the 10th verse. For godly grief produces a repentance that leads to salvation without regret, whereas worldly grief produces death. For see what earnestness this godly grief has produced in you, but also what eagerness to clear yourselves, what indignation, what fear, what longing, what zeal, what punishment. At every point you have proved yourselves innocent in the matter. So although I wrote to you, it was not for the sake of the one who did the wrong, nor for the sake of the one who suffered the wrong, but in order that your earnestness for us might be revealed to you in the sight of God. Therefore we are comforted. And besides our own comfort, we rejoice still more at the joy of Titus, because his spirit has been refreshed by you all. For whatever boast I made to him about you, I was not put to shame, but just as everything we said to you was true so also our boasting before Titus has proved true, and his affection for you is even greater as he remembers the obedience of you all, how you received him with fear and trembling. I rejoice because I have complete confidence in you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew, beginning with the second chapter, the 18th verse. Now John's disciples and the Pharisees were fasting, and people came and said to him, Why did John's disciples and the disciples of the Pharisees fast, 
but your disciples do not fast. And Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guest fast while the bridegroom is with them? As long as they have the bridegroom with them, they cannot fast. The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast in that day. No one sews a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment. If he does, the patch tears away from it. The new from the old and a worse tear is made. And no one puts new wine into old wineskins. If he does, the wine will burst the skins, and the wine is destroyed. And so are the skins. But new wine is for fresh wineskins. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. In God's presence, think through the day ahead, the work you will do, the people you will encounter, the dangers or uncertainties you face, the possibilities for joy and acts of kindness, any particular resolutions you need to renew. Consider what might draw you from the love of God and neighbor, the opportunities you will have to know and serve God and to grow in virtue. Remember those closest to you and all for whom you have agreed to pray. Ask God's blessings, guidance, and strength in all that lies before you. Gather up these thoughts and reflections in the words that our Savior taught us to say. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Let your continual mercy, O Lord, cleanse and defend your church. And because it cannot continue in safety without your help, protect and govern it always by your goodness. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, Almighty and Everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Almighty God, you have given us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplication to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will be in the midst of them. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come life everlasting. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and always, and forever and ever. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. God, be gracious to us, and bless us, and shine your countenance upon us, and have mercy on us. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. The Father is my hope the Son my refuge, the Holy Spirit my protection, all Holy Trinity, glory to you. Amen. Thank you for joining me today for another prayer. 
As always, I will encourage you to visit our website, commonprayerdaily.com, where you can access our liturgy and more resources. And if you'd like to support this podcast and all of its endeavors to grow and to advance the gospel through the good news of Jesus Christ and through liturgies that bring us into prayer, you can do so by visiting patreon.com slash commonprayerdaily. May the peace of the Lord be always with you. We'll see you next time.